else says love other than a violin and then chocolate as well too. We've got chocolate chef here, Sandra Abale here with us to talk about how we can make something very cool that I actually have never heard of until just now. That so, might make me a, a chocolate rookie. I might be exposing how naive I am. We're going to teach you. It's going to be okay. Okay. So we're going to make a ganache mm. uh, for our chocolate hazelnut rolled truffle. All right. Beautiful. So right Is this now, a popular one around this time of year for you? Like what, what really tends to be the major order today? Chocolate hazelnut is a, is a classic combination. You can't really go wrong. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves, loves that combination. Um, mm -hmm. You know, dark chocolate is a really popular seller right now, especially with uh, a lot of press around the added health benefits to dark yes. chocolate. You know, it's good for the heart and all the antioxidants. So and just plain good as well, too. Exactly. Get that exactly. cleared up. All right, let's yeah. get started. So what we have here is just some cream. We're going to bring it up to a boil. Mm -hmm. And in the bowl, uh, you'll see some chocolate. And here is a chocolate hazelnut spread that I make myself. Mm -hmm. um, but for those of you who want to try it at home, they can just go to the store and buy whichever one. Could you use Nutella potentially as well too? Would that, that could work as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add the chocolate hazelnut spread into the dark chocolate calais. I and love mixing important. chocolate. So good. It's important that you have a good quality dark chocolate in there. Mm -hmm. um, I use the cacao berry chocolate that you can find um, online and at some other major retailers. But a good quality chocolate will make your truffle taste that much better. All right. And does it really, does it matter where you, you purchase the chocolate? Does it have to be a certain percentage? I know that with dark chocolate, it's, that's kind of a, a key ingredient to it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the percentage is very important, especially when you're making a recipe of this nature. Mm -hmm. So I am using 64% right now. So we're just going to mix this all together till it combines, and we're going to add in our butter. Oh, I love butter. Yeah, you can't go wrong. No, you can't go wrong with butter. And this is whole butter, right? We're not talking margarine or anything else. No, no, 100% butter. You want the good stuff. Yes. You know? So this is absolute decadent, top of the line, premium quality products that you're using in order to get the kind of chocolates that I'm sure that you yes. would give to your Valentine, right? Yes, right. absolutely. Nothing but the best for those that we love. <laughs> So this is going to all come together and melt nicely. And while that happens, we're going to actually roll some okay. ourselves. You use the word we right there. Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is the ganache that we just made mm -hmm. that uh, is going to be cooling over here. So you can see now the texture is nice and firm. You can go ahead and touch that. Oh, yeah, it is very so firm. So it's a lot different from what we have in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once, once you get to this to this texture, you're just going to go ahead and pipe it out. And you want to kind of get these little balls so that it's easier for yourself to roll after. Oh, you lovely. Know, wanna... I do want to give this a try. Yeah, go ahead. All right. You got to squeeze nice and hard. All right, see, my novice is, is coming right through there. Actually, it's not so no, bad, right? No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, try I am again. doubting myself. I'm a chocolatier. Look at that. You okay. made decoration. Yeah, I did. Oh, got a little fancy with it. <laughs> Lovely. So, so you would go ahead and pipe them all out. Mm -hmm. And then we would, we would, um, we're, we're going to roll them. Okay. So we'll get some gloves on. All right, that sounds great. And uh, so those are for you. Because my hands were sweating a little bit after that violinist uh, segment. I have to admit that. So we definitely <laughs> need some gloves. So this is what we're going to roll them in here. And these are just... Um, some caramelized hazelnuts, mm -hmm. all chopped up nicely. Oh, that's amazing. Do you yeah. buy this or did you make that yourself? You can buy the product. It's also um, a cocoa berry product. Mm. It's called praline grains. Or you can go ahead and make them as well. That's, um, that's fine as well. That's for the ambitious, though. So. For the ambitious, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to get my gloves on here. Do I just grab and sprinkle? Is that, or should I no. wait to your direction? I'm getting ahead of myself. We're just going to pick one up. Okay. I'm not going to take the one I just picked up. Yeah, yeah. Just take a, a nice hard one there. All right. Got it? Yeah. And you're just going to put it into the palm of your hand, and you're just going to roll just into a little ball. Oh, lovely. So Easy these designs aren't exactly our final designs. They're just a blob to be exactly. manicured later on. Exactly. All and right. And once you're done, we're going to put it right into the praline greens and just coat them evenly. So you can throw all of them in at one time, essentially, I guess, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. If you're doing a, a larger batch, that can be done. Mm -hmm. And then just right onto the plate. Oh, gorgeous. 
just like that. Is this ready to, to, to be eaten right now? Yeah, you, you want to try it? I do want to try it. Yeah, I have to means, ask dig your, in. your secret. And I know you're using dark chocolate, which has a lot of health benefits and I think less of the calories. But, you know, for somebody who makes chocolate all the time, you're, you're in surprisingly amazing shape. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all that uh, dark, the dark chocolate. It keeps me healthy. <laughs> See, this could not, I'm running around the kitchen. <laughs> I couldn't have this at my disposal at all times. But I'm sure after a while, are you a little bit, you know, can you, can you resist chocolate anymore? Have you been able to master that like no other woman has? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to lie. Uh, I love chocolate. I love to eat it. I love to make it. So um, I sneak a, a couple in every now and then. <laughs> Do you have a Valentine today? Yes, I do. What are you, uh, I don't want to ruin it for them, but what kind of chocolate creation are, are you expecting to share with them? I made for him a very special chocolate. He's a big white chocolate fan, mm -hmm. and so I mixed in some white chocolate and goji berries. Oh, nice. that's not here today, is it? It is, actually, yeah. It is here yeah, today. Yeah, we're going to So we're you. getting the Inside Chocolatier's Valentine's Day secret, so we know you're giving us the best of the best tips. That's right. That's what I love about you, Sandra. <laughs> you're not stingy with Sherry. This was absolutely decadent, and I have to admit, I'm not a huge dark chocolate lover, but this is so rich. I think maybe it was a little bit of the hazelnut in there that it doesn't even really taste. It doesn't yeah. have that bitterness to it at all. And you get the texture from the nuts as well, so when you're biting into it, you get the smoothness from the ganache, but the, the crunchy nuts as well on the outside. I want to stay here and talk about this for the rest of the segment, but I, we do have a lot more going on over here, which I think we also should mention, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So here you'll see we have a, a chocolate showpiece. And oh, I saw is, that. Yes, I did. This is all made from chocolate, the heart uh, on this side as well. And we have a variety of chocolate bonbons and chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is, can I, can I go and grab this for you here? Yeah, sure. We only have a couple seconds left before break, but when we come back, we can get right into this one because I know this is your secret. Yes. This is your secret love weapon here, <laughs> which I want to learn how to do as well, too. This, even the base here is made of chocolate? Yeah, it's 100% chocolate. That's incredible. Okay, so we'll have more. Yes, we'll have more with Sandra right after the break. Stay tuned. I'm going to eat the last truffle. Do you mind? Yeah, go okay, ahead. Okay, great. Chocolate chef Sandra Abale, who is showing us that you can eat chocolate all the time and still look like this. That to me is <laughs> I'm going to take away from all that. Now, your fantastic business is called Succulent Chocolates and Sweets, is that That's correct? Right. So That's tell right. me all about that. You know, can I learn more how to make chocolate or can I just buy it? Because I have to admit that this was a bit tough for me. <laughs> you can go ahead and buy it right on the website, uh, www.succulentchocolatesandsweets.com, and uh, you can order the chocolate there. And so I brought for you a sample of some of the things that we're doing uh, for Valentine's Day. So here we have some of the chocolate pops. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is I like to take my inspiration from everyday things and from food that I like to eat. So, you know, the traditional hot lip candies. Yes, I do. So I made those into chocolate. Okay, lovely. So I added some cinnamon and some spice into the, into the chocolate and I made them uh, nice and red. And, Perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Make sure you head to the site, succulentchocolates.com, and check out some of the recipes we prepared on the show here today at rogerstv.com slash daytime Toronto. Still to come on the show, we've got male grooming and style expert Christopher Bates. We also have tips on having the perfect date, which I'm sure we got some today as well, too. So <laughs> you're almost halfway covered. And we're enjoying some sweet Valentine's Day treats again. But these are cupcakes this time. But first, Rogers TV has a great primetime lineup every